Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a spring look. I am so excited for spring, except for the allergies. Those have already started, I'm not happy about that. But um, I wanted to do a spring look just to get everybody started. And when I think of spring makeup, um, I think of neutrals, I think of pinks, um, and then I just think of like, just a really natural look. So. I kept the eyes pretty neutral. I did a pink blush and a pink lip, and this is super easy. So, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, to start off, I am going to be putting Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer all over my face. Um, I really need a primer because my skin is so dry, and so you can't really see it, really hides the dryness um, of my skin before I put on the foundation. Then I'm going to put on my EOS lip balm because my lips have been super dry so I've been putting this on multiple times a day and it's really been helping. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade W3 and I'm just going to dot that all over my face and look like a weirdo um, because I got a beauty sponge and this was my first time trying it out. Yeah, like I said, I look like a weirdo. So I'm going to be using the just the sides of it just to blend in the foundation all over my face. So I'm just going to pat this into my skin. If you do it this way, it looks a lot more natural. Then I'm going to take MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in the shade NW15 and I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. You don't need very much at all. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelids as a primer. Next, to brighten up underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking that same concealer and putting it in a V shape underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go down my nose and out towards the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take that beauty sponge and tap that to blend it out. And I am using the flat edge to do that. Next, I'm going to be taking my Milani Easy Brow Pencil in Dark Brown and my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe, and I'm going to do my eyebrows. If you're wondering why I'm using two different products, then just go ahead and check out my eyebrow tutorial. I had just filmed that for you guys, and I will have that link down below, and I go through the whole process of how I fill in my brows. Now I'm going to take the shade Vanilla, it's an eyeshadow by MAC, and with a flat shader brush, this is the one I got off the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to be putting that underneath my brow as a highlight. Then I'm going to pick up my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Puree, and I'm going to be putting that in my crease. Uh, yeah, I just realized that that put on a whole lot of product. I did not mean to pick that much up, but that's what blending is for, right? So let's just go ahead and blend that a lot and fix that up. Now I'm going to take my NYX eye pencil in white, and I'm just going to be putting that in the corners of my eyes to brighten them up and um, you don't you can totally skip this step but I really just wanted to make sure that this look was very glowy and my eyes were bright and then I'm going to go over that with a flat shader brush and the shade vanilla by MAC now I'm gonna take that same sweet peach palette and the shade summer yum and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and putting that all over my lid. 
I'm using a fluffy brush so that it doesn't put on as much product as a dense brush would. I don't want it to be very intense, I just want it to be very soft. I'm going to take that flat shader brush again and I have cleaned it off and I'm going to take both puree and summer yum mixed together and I'm going to be putting that um, underneath my eye and I'm being kind of precise with this I want a very tight lined oh I got a little on my eye <laughs> I want it to be very tight lined against my lashes then I'm going to be blending that out with a fluffy brush I'm going to grab my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to be taking the shade Blackout. This brush that I'm going to be using is not a dense brush but it is not very fluffy either so it's kind of in between. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of that Blackout and I'm just going to be dotting that along my lash line. I want this to be very soft. Um, so I'm just going to be dotting this and I'm going to go over it a couple times. Then I'm going to be taking my blending brush and I'm going to blend that all out. And then I'm going to repeat the process one more time. I'm going to take my Mary Kay liquid eyeliner pen in black and I'm going to draw a thin line on my upper lash line. So I'm going to go back in with blackout and I'm going to dot that across my eyeliner just to soften up the look even more. And here you can definitely see what that does to the look. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Highlighter in Sin and I'm going to be putting that right underneath my eyes because I just didn't have enough glow and I wanted more glow. I'm going to take that Sweet Peach palette again and I'm going to go in with the shade White Peach and I'm going to take a small flat brush and I'm going to be putting this in my lower waterline. This will just help my eyes look more awake and um, I'm going to do most of this off camera because I need it to look closer in the mirror. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly and I'm going to be putting a coat on my lower lashes first and then a couple coats on my top lashes. For the cheeks, I'm going to be doing my usual Clinique blushing blush, powder blush, I think I got it right this time, in the shade Precious Posy. That's definitely a mouthful, and I'm going to be putting that all over my cheeks. I'm going to start at the apples of my cheeks and then work my way back. Then with a fluffy highlighting brush, I'm going to take that shade Vanilla again and I'm going to be putting that in that V shape underneath my eyes again. Like I've said a million times, this look really screams glow to me. I think that that is the perfect look for spring. Next I'm going to use the bronzing shade from the Ulta Beauty makeup kit I got for Christmas and I'm going to be putting that all the top of my forehead to give my face some warmth. 
To finish off the look, I am going to be using my Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm in the shade 220 for my lips. And it is an intense color, so when I'm done, I'm going to be dabbing that off just a little bit. Alright, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah! Bye!